Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video isn't one that I was actually planning on filming, hence why my hair might be a little bit messy and my makeup I've been wearing all day long. But I went out to town today and I actually picked up a few bits from Boots. So this is going to be a Boots haul. Now I actually went into Boots for one item and that was a mascara and I came out with 10 things. That's 10 times the amount of stuff that I was gonna buy. I also went to Weatherspoons as well before I went to Boots and I got one of the pizzas. It was a margarita pizza and I just love the pizzas from Weatherspoons. Like does anybody else really like them? And fun fact and a slight kind of tip, if you're going out for a meal and you're the kind of person like me that always leaves something but A, like hates to leave food and then see it go to waste or you leave something and want to take it home but you're like not too scared to ask but you hate asking like oh please can I take this home to the waitress that's me so I always take every single time I go out for a meal now Tupperware boxes with me in advance um my mum does that too now so you know it's a genuine thing um so here's my pizza that I left I left two slices of the pizza and I popped it in this box and I can have that you know tomorrow um with some salad or something like that just a little um tip at the start of this video for those of you that are like me and you don't want to waste your food you don't want to see it go in the bin um and you want to take it home with you and enjoy it the next day so shall we start off with the thing that I actually went into boots for? So number one, I went in for a mascara. I want a mascara that is going to be volumizing. The one I've currently got, I think it's from Maybelline and it's like a big lash mascara, but it's trash. Like no offense to Maybelline, but I have actually seen a lot of reviews recently saying that it's not very good and I kind of agree. It isn't the greatest. And when I went into boots today, I saw that was the cheapest one that they do. So that's probably why, but I, used to on youtube see a lot of hype about this mascara this is the maybelline lash sensational full fan effect mascara and it's in the shade intense black i saw a lot about this on youtube back probably like five six years ago a lot of people using it and i never actually tried it and it was nine pounds 99 which is I think it's the most expensive item I actually bought in this whole haul. Usually I would spend like maybe three, four pounds on a mascara. But I thought, you know what Georgie, try it. You know, if it's really, really good, it's worth the money. So that's what I've done. And I'll have to give it a try and see how it's done. I literally bought these items about an hour ago. So this is what the wand looks like. It is a plastic applicator. I will give it a try. And if you see this in my March favorites, you'll know that it's good. Next thing I got, which I kind of needed, but I kind of got it in advance for like when my current foundation runs out, but this is the collection Lasting Perfection Matte Foundation. This says that it wears for up to 16 hours, which do I have my makeup on? No, I don't. I would say I probably on a work day wear my makeup for about 12 hours, I would say, but I don't really care about claims like that on foundations. At the bottom, it says it's got SPF 30, which is excellent foundations should have SPF in them in my opinion well actually I wouldn't say that no they shouldn't necessarily have to have SPF in it but it's always handy to have that I think you should just put SPF on anyway um, underneath your makeup I will as well as having this but it's nice to have that extra kind of SPF protection on your skin the kind of claims that this says on the back it says it's water resistance it's transfer proof um, it's full coverage and it's formulated with non-comedogenic ingredients. Now, with this, water resistant, excellent, because I remember the first ever foundation I ever tried, which is kind of bad luck that this was the first foundation I tried because I did not have a good experience with it, but it was the collection, oh my god, no, I thought it was this foundation and I was going to say, this is trash. No, it was the natural collection, Boots' own brand um, foundation and it just washed off my skin. As soon as there was a tiny bit of rain, it would just wash off like genuinely streaks of it coming down my face. I've never had that with any other foundation. So hopefully they changed the formula of that because that was trash. Um, so I'm glad to see that this should be all right with that. And yeah, full coverage, just what I'm looking for. So I probably, maybe I could do a review video of this actually. I was gonna say, I probably won't review, like do a wear test video of this, but I actually could. Maybe next week I will have a full day wear test trying out this foundation. Let me know if you wanna see that. 
but this is in the shade number seven biscuit if you was wondering the next makeup item i picked up wasn't something i actually went in to kind of get but again it's handy to have these things when we run out i haven't tried this before likewise i haven't tried that foundation before or the mascara i was feeling in the kind of mood where i want to try things that i haven't tried before this is the wet and wild photo focus concealer and it is in the shade they're beige i quite like a pale concealer because i feel like i maybe go a slight bit dark with my foundation and then i kind of brighten it up a little bit with my um concealer because i use it under my eyes in sort of areas where i want to brighten so for me concealer is not a spot correction product or a blemish correction product i use it to kind of brighten and add a little bit more coverage to my skin but yeah i'll be interested to see what this what this is like i like concealers that are full coverage that blend really easily. I hate concealers that don't blend easy. So I would rather have a concealer that's like hardly any coverage but blends really nicely than something that's full coverage that really, you know, you have to really um, kind of work it in. So yeah. Also, I needed a powder. This is something I actually did need. And this is from Rimmel. I haven't had this in a while, but I have tried this before. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, and this is in the shade number one transparent. So I'm assuming this is the lightest shade, but it's a pressed powder as you can see. And at the minute I've been using a loose powder. And I've been enjoying my loose powder from W7, but why not try something different? It really doesn't bother me. When it comes to powders, I'm easy. <laughs> There's a fly trying to attack me. Okay, now we have a couple of skincare products. So first of all, I've got this, which was only like £1.50. This is from Boots' own range, and this is the Rose Facial Wash. It says it's suitable for sensitive skin, and it leaves your skin feeling soothed and cleansed, and it removes makeup and impurities, and it's not tested on animals very good i'm gonna give this a try i've recently run out of my facial wash at my flat so i'm excited to try this i was trying to smell it but i didn't want to like squirt some up in case it like went up my nostrils no i'm not gonna risk it it's probably sealed off actually i didn't think about that yeah it's sealed off what an idiot I'm, th I'm trying to think if it smells like the british rose range from the body shop because obviously this is um a rose product uh, I'm not too sure, but I'll need to try that out and let you know my thoughts. I will do an updated skincare routine very soon. I also, from that same range, got this moisturiser, which again, I'm running low on my moisturiser. So this is the Rose Moisturising Cream. Again, it's just kind of like within this same range. So I'll have to see how this is because this was only £1.50. I'm all here for the cheap products. I love, you know skincare products but I also love a good bargain here and there I think sometimes it's good to invest in certain products and things but for me personally when it comes to facial washes and you know moisturizers at the minute at my age cheap things are good for me and then I'm not sure if that's from this range or this is from that range I think it's from a different range but this is also like Boots's own brand and this is the glow essence for a glowing complexion now I was going to look at the ingredients and see what ingredients are in here in the actual store so that I could see what the benefits are because I know you know I know a little bit about certain ingredients and kind of what benefits they have, but I couldn't read it. Like, can anybody actually see that? There's like, the writing is the same colour as the bottle. So in terms of the packaging, I give it a 0 out of 10. But now I'm at home, I can just about read it. And it says, the main ingredient is water. Then we have glycerin, which is great. That's a good product. I like that. Um, we have... Other things I don't know much about yeah but it's um like a nice serum -y texture i will just let you know how this goes this was four pounds and i thought you know what georgie give it a try give it a go and it looked quite nice and like gloopy and like serum-y so i just wanted to give that a go and i don't actually have that many skincare products because i have actually ran out of quite a few of my skincare products so i wanted to try something like that out then a couple of hair care products i don't know how i ended up going in for mascara and coming out with all this stuff but i needed a conditioner most of this stuff i actually needed and i didn't even realize so that's probably why but i got the garnier ultimate blends strengthening conditioner and this is in kind of the honey treasures range and it's for damaged hair prone to breakage i have super long hair and well it's long 
in my opinion um and yeah i just needed a conditioner and also i just feel like my hair is probably a bit damaged because it is so long and obviously it's had a lot of heat on it even though i don't straighten my hair that often i actually probably straighten my hair once every month but yeah it's still not great condition if i'm honest um probably from me brushing it like that but yeah i will give that a go and i can just imagine that this is a super nourishing product oh and it smells really nice as well then i got this which is a hair mask so this is from again garnier and this is the ultimate blends plumping hair food watermelon and pomegranate so this says it's for fine hair i wouldn't say my hair's fine but as in like a fine texture not that it's fine as in it's it's cool man but it's whatever i just thought the smell of watermelon will smell so fresh and yeah a big tub you get a big tub i swear this was only like six pounds something and it was such a big tub and i think because you get so much it's 100 percent worth the money and i just wanted a product that would make my hair feel really soft and just a little bit more looked after because i feel like i've not been looking after my hair recently so yeah i'm gonna give this a go i might try this tomorrow see how i get on with it but yeah really i'm um, excited to give this a go and i didn't need this but i just felt like it would be a great addition to my products then i got this which is not a hair care product this is just a hand wash this is the final thing i got by the way and this is the method pink grapefruit hand wash with plant-based cleansers so i just think this looks nice like doesn't that just look nice that will look really kind of smart and sophisticated in my bathroom and i know that method as a brand has a lot of cleaning products that i do actually want to purchase so i am going to be heading up to b&m or wherever method cleaning products are sold and i'm going to be buying a lot of them um for my cleaning throughout the summer but i saw this and i thought you know what I'm gonna get that because I'm running low on my um, my hand wash and this would look nice in my bathroom and I like it. And it was one pound something, so very much worth the money. And it's grapefruit, so I'm guaranteed, it, it is guaranteed to smell nice. Just realized I put the little, um, the little guy back there, it's called Ralph, heel guy. Um, yeah, that is everything that I picked up from Boots. I just wanted to film a little video just to show you everything because it's not often that I actually buy stuff from Boots or not often I buy makeup or skincare or clothes or anything like that. I tend to spend my money on food. So I need to kind of stop that. Um, but thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe if you want to see more videos on my channel. And I will see you soon. Bye.